još jedan put dobar dan svima, nadam se da ste dobro, da vam je preveliki šok i dobro ti ste nevo. Good day everybody, once again. Hope you are feeling good after tunnels, that it's not too stressing for you. Um, imam veliko zadovoljstvo da predstavim našeg današnjeg i gosta i domaćina u ovog prostora divnog koju koristimo, doktora Semera Osmanagića, um, osnivača Fondacije Bosanske piramide, koji je zaslužan za ovu ljepotu koju uživamo, park, tunele i sve što je vezano za Bosanske piramide. It is my great honor to introduce you Dr. Semir Osmanagić, the main man, I would say that. He's a, he established the foundation Bosnian Pyramids and uh, gave us a beautiful platform to enjoy the part of the tunnels and the pyramids. Dobar dan i još jedan put dobrodošli u srce Balkana, pomoslog polostrva. Zamolili smo da govorim na engleskom. On more time I welcome everyone. Mohanji's organization and our foundation has been louder. What do they say? Louder? So our two organizations have uh, years and years of excellent friendship. Sixteen years ago, I first came to this town of Visoko to visit the local museum. And I realized that uh, one hill that was completely covered in forest has perfect geometry of the pyramid and side orientation to the cardinal points. East, West, North, and South. And this is when the story about the Bosnian pyramid discovery started. In the last 16 years, it has become the most active archaeological site in the world. But it is much more than the archaeology itself. It has become the interdisciplinary scientific project with the energy aspect, with the spiritual aspect, and healing aspect. You realize that pyramids are not tombs for the rulers, but energy amplifiers, ancient energy machines. The location of the pyramid was very important. Its shape, four-sided pyramid, is the most powerful geometrical shape when it comes to the energy. If you locate them above existing natural energy sources, it amplifies them. Below our pyramid, there is an iron plate. Iron generates electromagnetic field, and the pyramid amplifies it. How do we know that? Because we have measured it at the base of the biggest pyramid, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, and at the top. At the top, the energy is 50 times stronger. Below the pyramid, there are underground water flows. Water moves, it releases negative ions. The pyramid amplifies the concentration of negative ions. And this is what you can measure. If you can measure, you can scientifically prove that. Below the first underground water flow, there is a second one. And between the two, there is a charge, electricity. Through the very top of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, we measure existence of the energy beam, which is electrical in nature, 28 kilohertz frequency, it's continuous. 
in science it is called Tesla's scalar waves. The brilliant mind, Nikola Tesla, 122 years ago, discovered those subtle energies that are ideal for the communication of very long distances between the planet. So we realize that first potential purpose of the pyramid energy needs to be the communication device. We find a lot of quartz crystal during our archaeological excavation on the pyramids and in the tunnels which you just visited. Quartz crystal has the ability to transform the energies. In our case from the electromagnetism to the ultrasound through the process known to engineers as the piezoelectrical effect. Ancients knew that. What we measure in the tunnels is the frequency of 28 kilohertz. In science it is known as the levitation frequency. When you enter the tunnels, walk through them, you feel light. On the level of your body cells, they recognize the levitational frequency. We have had so many healing testimonials in the course of the last 15 years. People visiting the tunnels with a high blood pressure, they got, up, they got out, the pressure is balanced. The same thing goes for the level of the sugar in the blood, the glucose. Five, six points, it got reduced just after one visit. Very often the pains are gone. Even very serious illnesses, we can see revolutionary improvement in human health. Our conclusion was the second potential purpose of the pyramid energy was to protect what's the most precious to us, our health. We combine always the scientific measurements and we realize that there are nine elements in the tunnels that makes them the safest and the healthiest place on the planet. Those are first five absent of all damaging bad radiations. No cosmic radiations, no natural radioactivity, no geopathogenic rays, no signal for the cell phones, no signal for Wi-Fi, internet. Without those bad energies, bad radiations, our body cells does not have enemies. So for the first time in their life, they can start doing their job. And their job is to fix our problems, to start the regeneration process. Other four energy properties that are also measurable are number six, the best frequency of the electromagnetism, number seven, the best frequency of the ultrasound, number eight, the best very low frequency of 7.83 Hz. In science it is called the Schumann Resonance. Until 1990s, that was the only frequency of our planet. Again, Nikola Tesla, 120 years ago, concluded that our planet resonates at about 8 Hz. Austrian von Schumann, 50 years back, measured precisely 7.83. Unfortunately, due to our technology, computers, TVs, laptops, cell phones, our energy fields and so on. We get so much bad electromagnetic fields, EM smog, it's called. It put the pressure on our mother planet and she starts reacting from 7.83 to 10, 12, 15 Hertz. The resonance of our brain 
is 7.83. When you have 15 Hz outside, you have tension, stress. You go back to the tunnels, it's 7.83. You go back to your natural balance. And number nine, what we have in the tunnels, it's high concentration of negative ions. Negative ions are very good because they clear the atmosphere from dust and pollen. They raise the level of oxygen in our body. And they kill all the microbes. And microbes are viruses, bacteria, fungi. In the last 15 years of the corona, not a single guy that we have there, we have 30 of them, had corona. Not a single one, including myself. So it's empirical evidence that negative ions clean our body from all the viruses and bacteria. So our conclusion on the tunnels was that it was ideal environment to start the regeneration process. And if we got lucky, a rejuvenation process. The third potential purpose of the pyramid energy is to improve the molecular structure of the water. The one that we have in the tunnels <coughs> vibrates high. It is a healing water, even though we don't call it that name. Number four, it improves the molecular structure of the food. Number five, it improves our bioenergy field, also known as the auric field. Number six, it improves our chakras. They come back to the balance and they open up some more so that the energy can flow better. Number eight, it improves our immunity. Literally, the pyramid energy improves anything and everything. And this is the knowledge that we got left from the past, a lot to learn from the ancient builders. If you look at the concept of the energy that we have today, that we use daily, it is based on the coal industry, coal, dirty industry, oil and gas, limited resources. We are hurting our one, the planet, by extracting nuclear energy. Look at from Chernobyl to Fukushima. We contaminate our planet. Those energy resources are owned by less than 1% of billionaires. And 90% of us are struggling financially in daily life. So, dirty, limited, costly. The ancient clean, unlimited, and free. A huge difference. Through this process we realized that ancient new elements of sacred geometry. Number one is perfect equilateral triangle. If you look at it, the Great Pyramid of Egypt, the first thing you notice equilateral triangle of the sides of the pyramid. In Bosnia, three major pyramids, pyramids of the sun and moon and dragon, form equilateral triangle. The distances between their tops are 2,180 meters. The second element of sacred geometry is golden section or golden section spiral. 1.618. In Egypt, the beginning of the spiral is at the King Tots tomb. When you open up the spiral, on the line we have all three pyramids sitting. In Bosnia, the beginning point of the spiral is the top of the key structure, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. We open up the spiral, we have the Pyramid of Love and two more Pyramid Hills. 
also the ancients were able to terraform the whole environment, even to move the rivers. We have two major rivers in the valley, River Foynica and River Bosna. What they did with the river Fonisa, which was flowing to the north, they moved it for 90 degrees, got it into the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids. So the place where those two rivers meet is artificially made. It also gives us the point of the golden section spiral. Beginning point, on the spiral we have the top of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, entrance to the Rame Tunnels, and one more structure called Tumulus in Vratnica. What they were getting by applying elements of sacred geometry? They were getting the movement of the energy. The ancients were smart. Why did they orient the size of the pyramids to the cardinal points, east, west, north, south? And that's the case in Egypt, China, Peru, Cambodia, Indonesia, US, and other places with the pyramids. Archaeologists, Egyptologists, geologists, they don't know. Independent researchers, they also don't know, because they don't have an engineering mind. If they do, they would know that our planet is a huge energy ball. Like Nikola Tesla said, everything is energy, if you want to understand the universe. Energy, frequency, vibration. Our planet energy ball, two strongest energy flows are north-south and east-west. You build a pyramid, perfectly oriented, it initiates the movement of the energy. So, why is it important to have those energies especially amplified? The answer is within us. Let's imagine that we are complex beings and that we consist of three entities. The first one being our physical body, which is for one use only. We get born, we live, we die. But during this lifetime, a lot of opportunities to gain the experience, mostly through our five physical senses. We can hear, we can see, we can smell, we can taste, and we can touch. Even though those physical senses are very limited, it gives us a great opportunity. And that would be the first level of our existence, the physical. The second one, let's imagine that we all have souls. Souls are extremely old, but they got into existence at one point in the universe and they were given the individuality, going through different experiences, different bodies, different planets, star systems, and galaxies. A long way of learning. And this one lifetime is just one of experiences, which we can remember forever. And again, Let's imagine that the soul is a substance that is located behind our chest. There is a way to reach it. The best way is through the meditation. And then we are able, if we deserve, and if we are not going to abuse it, to learn all the questions from the past present and the future. And the third entity, let's imagine that it is a spirit, which is really the cosmic light and the part of the creator. So, physical body, 
is a protection for our soul, which is protection for our third entity, a spirit. So they share the space and the time. And again, there is even possibility to reach the spirit, the creators, the gods, substance, and the knowledge. When you have ancient technology, like pyramids, not all of them, the oldest, the biggest, and the most superior, and some of the major megalithic sites, like Stonehenge, or Avery Hill, or Karnak, original here in Israel, Alestena and Sweden, those sites create additional energy. It has always been about the energy, because we did. We are able to develop our spiritual senses, and we can get closer to the soul and even to the spirit. So that would be one of the major importances of the pyramid's energy. Since we have a nice crew here who are a lot into meditation, would you mind if I lead one meditation now? Mm -hmm. All, right. <laughs> All right. I suggest that uh, through this Lent meditation, we visit the Creator. How about that? All right. So we're already sitting very comfortable. What we don't need in our hands, you can lay around you. And let's relax. Let's close our eyes so we don't get anything from the outside world that we don't need. Let's try to keep this space without the sound so we don't disturb the others. times the breath in keep it for three seconds and out in and out the third time in and out we will be observing our breath and our breathing during the session. So now let's try to get in touch with our soul. The body is here. It keeps functioning. Let's have a journey with our soul. Let's leave the body slowly. We are going towards the roof of this conference hall. We look at down, we are here. But now let's leave the conference hall. Look at the park, a lot of greenery. And let's go higher. We leave forests below us. And we go higher. We leave Bosnia, southern Europe. And finally the planet below us. And yes, it is a planet. We go higher up. In front of us is our sun. And now 
now you realize that the ancients did not worship sun. It was not God. Sun was giving us light and warmth and information. Sun was our father. We moved toward our sun, getting closer. It is getting warmer, but pleasantly. Let's move by the sun and continue through our solar system. Now we realize that we are at the end of our galaxy, Milky Way. We will need to go through our galaxy, <coughs> getting closer to the middle, to our left and our right. It's not dark anymore. At the star constellation, we move very quickly. We are getting closer to the center of the galaxy. Again, very pleasant, light and warmth. Now we realize that our sun is getting fed by the knowledge and the light from the center of the galaxy. We continue moving quicker and quicker. We pass the center, going towards the other end. We move very quick now. And finally, we move our galaxy, leave it behind us. We are in open space, going towards the center of the universe. Somehow we know where exactly is located. We go quicker and quicker. And indeed, so many different shapes of the galaxies. The spiral, long ones, wide, small. We continue quicker and quicker. And now we see dog in front of us, huge force, somehow covered in dark circle. They're getting closer and closer. This dark circle getting bigger. And now, it completely covers our horizon. Huge, black and grey circle. But still pleasant. We move quick. And now we go through it. And we realize that color changes. This is very pleasant. We go through the orange, we can almost touch it. It's getting thicker, but very pleasant. We move quicker and quicker. And now the color again changes slowly to the golden color. Now we realize this is the true value of the gold. We move through this space, getting moved slower 
and be filled through our new senses. How pleasant is to be around. We still move, but slower. Now we are starting getting information. Everything is so easy. We ask question, and even before we finish the question, we are getting answer. We came to the stop. Look around us. Gold color. Everywhere. This is the most pleasant feeling we ever had. We are surrounded by the knowledge, by the best vibration, and then we realize that this is the cosmic binder. And this binder is love. It feels so good on all sides. Everything we know, the knowledge, the energy, everything comes to one point, and that's the love. So now we know where it all started. In the time before the time. And now we know and ever we need it. Whenever there are questions to be answered. This is the place to come. Let's start moving back slowly. This is a special place. And yes, Everywhere around us are the sum of the truths, universal truths. And we move quicker now through this beautiful, golden environment. Looks like it is unlimited all around us. All the knowledge is written here. It seems so simple to me. And we move quicker and quicker. We are so light and happy and again enthusiastic about the life and all the experiences that we have had and that we will have and we realize that the fact that we are in this life's body is not a chance. It had to be there. It was just another possibility to grow. Now we are going back quicker. Change of the color, the orange, also very pleasant. We move quicker. Now we see the backside of the big gray and the black circle. Go through it. We know the way. Move very quick now. Galaxies to our left and the right. And even quicker. 
familiar view of our galaxy, Milky Way, very long one, going from one end, move through it, now the center, getting it behind us, going towards the other end, the sun system is all the way back, the light and the knowledge coming very slowly there, but still we move toward it and finally we recognize the sun going past the sun and our planet going very quick see familiar continents the Europe is there going to the southern corner coming down a little bit slower and finally all the greeneries and forests Getting close to our park, and we realize that of all the universe, there is only one little corner that we can influence and change, and that is ourselves coming down to the body. Pick up the right body, please. And connect to our physical body after this excursion. Feel your fingers. Put them on your eyes. A few seconds. And slowly open the eyes. Thank you very much. expanded state rests simultaneously. It sits together. But we are so occupied with our personality that we hardly see the possibility. We do not recognize it. It takes somebody to come and tell you that our potential is unlimited. These spaces, power centers have always existed. But we were so occupied with the material world and the achievements in the material world in linear time that we forgot what life feels like. We were not living, we were existing. When do we start living? When we start realizing deeper and deeper realities. So. We all should be grateful to Samir Osmanagic for Osmanagic to have dedicated his, his life for finding, nurturing, maintaining and also presenting such a beautiful place to all of us. We have come from various parts of the world, but hearts are beating the same. We are together in consciousness. We are related in consciousness. There is no separation. That brings us here. Every year, 
we used to come here, as Dr. Osmanovic said, from 2015, I think that was the first year when I came, when we came here. And steadily, the number of people have increased, volume has increased. The details here have increased. So we have grown together with this space, in a way. Only one year got deleted from the calendar, that was 2020, we couldn't move. I look at it as a warning bell. It's a warning bell to get ourselves in the right track. As Dr. Osmanigit said in the beginning, the whole alignment sits in us, the whole potential sits in us, and the frequency of this space, which is made available by people generations before, thousands of years ago, where the frequency was only that of benevolence. There was no two frequencies or conflicting frequencies that all started much later. The greed factor took root much later. It was only benevolence factor, love, kindness, compassion factor. But eventually what happened? Conquest, control, competition, all these started happening and they started overwhelming. Me and you, separation, that started. There was no separation before. If I have something, I share it. Everybody shared everything. So, we should get back a world of that nature. If we raise the frequency of this earth, please understand, earth has no need of us. We need earth. You know, we should not have the notion that we own earth, we own nothing. So, if we bring back the frequency of levitation to earth, that means if we live a life of compassion, heaven will happen right here. This is a possibility that we have. Thank you, Doctor. It's been uh, uh, homecoming always. I have told this before also. Every year it was, uh, it's been like, uh, coming here became our, uh, an, a spontaneous thing. It, was, it didn't take much planning. And um, all of us are extremely grateful to you and your team for making us feel at home. And also keeping this space so, so beautiful and vibrant, where, which everybody can experience. Thank you. We would like to offer you a small memento from us. I would request uh, Vladimir to come and deliver uh, one. And then after that, Tobo, then please come up. Yeah, probably not remove your shoes. say something very shortly. As you know, I'm ambassador and I'm promoting this amazing place through my colleague, other ambassadors. Without any, maybe your permission, that I'm promoting on the goodwill, on the positive thoughts. And when I saw you, when you was in Belgrade, in the radio, television, Belgrade, and speak, I feel that you are like my brother. <laughs> and we are brothers here and share very positive energy, positive thoughts. And I say one great 
Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, my brother.